Hey, what's up everyone? This is Weird Dirty Gaming's 32 gigabyte ported to RetroPie image. You might have seen he had the final release of the recall box. This is just ported over. And I already had a chance to look through this. It does come with a comic book theme. I'm going to go ahead and go through the comic book theme for half and then we'll look at the super display which I actually personally like a little bit better. Starting to the right of RetroPie though, you have Super Nintendo 786. You have um, Arcade 2158. By the way, all games, it's close to 10,000. It's 9,389. The reason you can pack so much on a 32 gigabyte image, it's actually only 28 gigs, the, IS, the IMG file. So it'll fit on most 32s. Um, 2,600, 648 games, but it's under 10,000 games because there's no video snaps. It's all just uh, box art and uh, screenshots. 5,200, 71, 7,800. 63 we've got some portables here game Boy, game gear 249 game boy 490 game boy advanced 1129 that's all of them game boy color 528 sega master system 267 sega mega drive 819 msx 649 nintendo 64 303 neo geo 138 Nintendo, and this is the one issue with this image I am going to say is it wasn't scraped properly. These Nintendo games load just fine. You can see I'll click in, I'll be able to load the game just fine, but it's missing the box art and it's missing the metadata as well, so it will need to be scraped. The games themselves run fine, it's just something that you see when you scroll through these games. So, small little thing there. PC Engine. 303 so that's all the games um, just so you know it doesn't come with all games and last played I added that I went into here and then added all games and last played but it wasn't selected by default um, the other thing was I really like changing the theme there's a lot of themes on here retrorama which is awesome uh, and then also super super display retrorama is awesome by Phil's doodles really beautiful we haven't seen that before I've done some videos on that one before as well and I've seen a couple images now with this on there the super display it's kind of like an attract mode and um, it just looks really good both the rooms uh, and the main menu over here so that's super display we got to give Phil some love here you got to see Phil we'll show you the the kids as well um, there's a lot of really good creators out there if you guys don't know them I've interviewed a lot of them and uh, Phil's great guy Dwayne Hurst great guy David Marty great guy all these people making custom coding for the Raspberry Pi. So this one, it's got these big, large uh, screens, and then when you go in, it's got custom fonts and screenshots, so it looks great, right? And then lastly, kids. Um, I have to say, as far as this image as a whole, I mean, it should it should be pretty well made because, you know, uh, he the, the person who made this image, this is like his fourth or fifth iteration. He's done lots of fixes, things like that. It is the first time that's been put on RetroPie. Um, it's my first time seeing a kid's, this is actually my first time playing in it. So this is a kid's theme, uh, you can go into it and it's got like little blocks and stuff and kind of a kid-like font. Nice big screen. So that is kids. Let's try X player, X-Men 2 player. Time to beat Wolverine, here we go. Throw the let's throw these knuckleheads. Get out of my kitchen. Man, they seem pretty strong. Kind of need a machine to kill a mutant, though. Dang, I wrecked all those kids. Uh oh, here's a silver guy. Oh, we got some energy. There we go. 
Nice. So this is running great, as you see. Okay, so there you have it. We're Dirty Gaming. It's on RetroPie 4.20, so very up to date. The biggest thing on this image is that it is like the fifth iteration, so it is really well made. Um, also, the thing about going on to RetroPie now is A, it's going to be easier to update, and B, your most controllers are going to work. There was issues with the previous image on Recall Box that, you know, if you didn't have an Xbox controller or one of the mass marketed controllers, like the Logitechs and things like that, would not work on it very easily. And, uh, you know, it's not that easy to configure a controller on uh, Recall Box, a third-party one, um, compared to uh, RetroPie. So overall, though, really beautiful. Love it. Love all the different pre-installed themes. You can add your own as well. Love that you can add on to this, you know, your own games, things like that. RetroPie is very easy to use in that respect. And uh, where Dirty Gaming really did a good job porting this over, making sure everything was working, things like that. There's just that small thing in the Nintendo, which isn't even that big of a deal. But other than that, thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.